Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bugger Designs and I have a really fun treat for you today. This is a boozy beach treat. That's what I'm calling it. It's almost summer and I know I'm going to a girl's on a girl's trip um, the first week of June. So I'm thinking of fun things to take to my girlfriends. This would be great for a pool party, a beach get together. Um, Inside are just little bottles of rum that you can get at your liquor store. And then these things, and I wanna show you, I don't know if you've ever seen these before. I found them on Amazon and I buy them to take on our boat. They're like little lemonade packets, except they're pina colada flavored. And you can add rum and water and you have a really easy pina colada. It's fun, it's portable, it's convenient. And so I'm using it for this fun little treat. And then of course, we've got some little paper straws that I found at my local craft store. All right, so the stamps, we're using Sunny Splash. That's my focus on my blog this week. But I also pulled in the Artfully Layered bundle from the spring catalog. Um, I love all these tropical elements and so that's gonna really add to our little tropical feel. Okay, what we're gonna do first is make our box. You're gonna need a piece of Bermuda Bay that is 10 by seven and three fourths. Um, on the long side, we're gonna score it at half an inch, two inches, four inches, and five and a half. Then you're gonna turn it on the short side and score it at one and a half and six and a fourth. All right, now, you wanna grab your bone folder and burnish all of those lines. Make them nice and crisp, that way your box will be square and it'll stand and hold all of the things that you need it to hold. Okay, so now we're gonna do some cutting. So grab your scissors and here on this long side with the long skinny tab, you wanna cut off the squares or the rectangles in the corner. Okay, just get rid of those, we don't need them. Now cut this, these uh, tab, this long tab, cut the corners off. And now go through and just trim all of your score lines along both long sides. And stop at that horizontal score line. All right, that's all you need to do, okay? Now, we need to put some holes for our bottles. And I am using two punches. We don't sell our punches anymore. If you don't have them, you can also use your layering circle dies. Um, but we need to put two large circles here for the little bottles I found one and three eighths works the best, and a one inch circle. Now, to make sure that I get those nice and centered, I am going to punch out some scrap paper the circles that I need to punch. I'm gonna make a little guide for myself and I'm gonna put them on here and we're doing, you wanna put them here on this smaller section, right? I'm just putting them on as a guide to where I'm gonna punch. So I can move them around, get them as centered as I can. Looks like I need to move these over a little bit like, that okay whoops that one didn't stick let's try again did i get adhesive yeah it's there okay now take your punch or your circle die and just put those holes matching where you have those little circles okay like that all right now put your adhesive along this long uh, tab right here and then take your box and if you this last score line if you fold that up and fold this one in lay it down like that your box will be perfectly square okay so now we're going to fold all of these in put the, the top and the bottom in first and then fold in that back side and lastly, fold in the front, okay? Top and bottom, back, and 
front. Okay, so there's your box. Now we want to cut these at an angle. So start at the bottom and go with your scissors all the way to the back like that. And then do the same on this side. Okay, so now we need to decorate. All right, I've got two pieces of DSP. I'll have all these measurements over on my blog for you. There will be a PDF that you can save and print. Um, that way you don't, you know, try to scribble it down on a post-it and lose it. I'll have a supply list there for you as well if you want to get any of these products. All right. So there we've got our paper. Now let's do some stamping. I am going to stamp these leaves and I'm kind of basing my colors off of the D DSP. Um, I'm going to stamp this leaf in pear pizzazz on basic white and then we're going to do the big one in pale papaya. There. Okay. Now I'm going to stamp my cute little vintage bathing suit over here in the corner. Now the bathing suit doesn't have a matching die, so we'll use our scissors to cut that out. No problem. But these two um, leaves do have dies, so you know what? Let's no. Let's we'll cut that out. At, we'll cut it out first. And then we will color it because we're going to do some splatter on it. And we don't want the splatter to get on our other pieces. Okay, so grab your dies and run that through your cut and emboss machine. Um, I have also cut out this piece right here, this branch or, I don't know, palm frond maybe from mossy meadow. I've done that ahead of time. I am using my magnetic platform which holds those dies in place exactly where they need to be which yay we love that. All right so now we'll get our cute little bathing suit and I'm just going to use my little paper snips to go around The outside leaving a little white border, kind of a little outline of white around a little frame like that. Okay, now I'm gonna use, we don't have Pear Pizzazz Stampin' Blends, but um, our light old olive works really well. So I'm gonna color it in with my light old olive Stampin' Blend. I prefer to use the brush tip on large surfaces, but I think my mark is getting dry. So I'm gonna use that bullet tip to color that in. All right, once you have that colored in, I'm gonna take my dark old olive and just fill in those circles there. And then let me get a piece of scratch paper right here. And we're going to flick a little bit of ink. So take that brush end and just use the lid to flick some of that dark ink there. All right, so here are our pieces. I cut out that one, that one branch from Mossy Meadow. I also cut out a heart using the Give It A Whirl dies from another piece of that DSP. We're gonna stamp the sentiment that is from the Sunny Splash on a stitched, banner which is from the stylish shape dies and I'm stamping it in Bermuda Bay there we go and now we are ready to layer all of this on our box so bring over your box and we'll start first with the bigger pieces I'm going to put this branch in the back like that and I'm going to put this branch on top of it like that and then we'll bring this branch in and we're going to use a little bit of Tombow on this one and we'll stick that right in the middle and now for these guys 
I'm going to use dimensionals. First, put your banner. And notice I stamped that sentiment over on the left side because we're going to take that bathing suit and put it over like that with a dimensional on the right side. And then last, we'll take that little heart, tuck that in there like that. Okay, now I have some basic matte black dots. I'm gonna add a few of these here, just to give it a little bit of fun, interest, little pop, like that. And maybe one more up here like that. Okay, now, you wanna put your bottles in. Well, I, <laughs> I did them on the opposite side, so my straw is gonna be on the left side, which is totally okay. Two straws, and I got two of these to fit in here as well. Let's put these in first. And then this one, and then, those straws. And then last but not least, an old olive bow to go up on those straws. You can tie them together if you want, but I'm just gonna stick them on with a glue dot. It's a little bit easier to do in the video. And that's it. Aren't those fun party favors? I think that these will be a huge hit, great way to kick off the summer. And all your friends will love them. All right, make sure you uh, head back to my blog for the supply list for uh, two more Sunny Splash projects. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any more fun projects. All right, everybody, happy stamping. Thanks. Bye-bye.